What's up guys, Baker here. Today I got a special tutorial. This is the creepy dark energy tutorial. And um, yeah, basically it's the little smoky dark creepy effect that I used in my latest OCE or in the uh, latest video I uploaded yesterday. Uh, if you haven't seen it, let's take a look real quick. There's this creepy thing on my desk. I don't know what it is. All right, wasn't that creepy? Let's learn how to make this creepy dark energy. All right, let's make a new composition. I'm just gonna do uh, 1080, 60 frames per second, about 15 seconds, doesn't matter too much. All right, okay. Um, let's go ahead and make a new solid. Any color is fine, okay. Grab your pen tool and just start clicking away and drawing some kind of curvy lines, something like this. Click away and just start drawing some more masks. Um, this is kind of similar to Video Copilot's tutorial on uh, some kind of energy thing. But let's just start with that and search up some Vegas. Put that on. And we're going to change image contours to mask with one segment. And let's make this white. Let's make the width. Four, got our line here. Let's make the start opacity zero and then the midpoint opacity one. So we get a smooth uh, left and right edges and then just in the middle like that. Uh, blend mode, let's make this transparent so we can see through it. That's good. Let's duplicate Vegas and Vegas two, change it to mask two. And then change this to over so we can see both lines now. Duplicate Vegas two. Vegas 3, make it mask 3 over again. That looks good. See through it. Perfect. Good. Let's click on this layer. Go to Layer, Precompose, and call this Lines. Make sure we have Move All Attributes. All right, good. Let's search up Offset. Drag that on. And then search up Polar Coordinates. Drag that on. Uh, first frame, we're going to Shift Center 2. Keyframe that. Go to the very end and just drag this downwards. Hold shift to drag it down faster. So about a couple times, about 3,000, 4,000, that should be fine. Interpolate this 100% and change it to rectangle to polar. And we get that. So they're kind of getting cut off uh, right at the edge. So we need to feather this out. So we're going to make a new solid. OK. And grab your ellipse tool. Click in the center, hold command and shift to get a perfect circle, and let go. So let's uh, take a look at this. Let's push F for feather, and feather this out a couple hundred pixels. That should be, should be okay. And we're going to use the alpha mat for this. So we should see our lines still, and they should fade off and um, look a little bit nicer. All right, so that's good. Let's pre-compose both of these layers. Compose and call this circle lines, something like that. All right, let's rename this comp to here to uh, creepy energy. All right, so that's looking good. Let's scale this down just a little bit, maybe 90%. And let's also add a fill so we can colorize this. And to see this, I'm going to make a white background just to make it easier for you guys. This is uh, optional, but white background so I can color this to be black. Our lines are looking a little bit thin, so we can go back into here, into the original lines, and increase the width a little bit. So maybe seven for all these. Seven and seven that looks good so let's go back to creepy energy there's our lines spewing out looks good all right let's duplicate the circle lines and just kind of rotate it and slide it over maybe a little bit to offset the time and scoot it uh, scale it down a little bit so we just get a little bit more randomness maybe duplicate it one more time rotate it a little bit more maybe scoot it back Again, 
just so we get a bunch of lines. All right. Next, we're going to make another new composition, uh, 1080, all the same settings, and we're going to make some smoke stuff. Now, if you have Video Copilot's uh, Shockwave, they got some cool Shockwave stuff. If we drag this out here, it just kind of explodes into this cool Shockwave looking thing. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to drag out all of these. Let's set these to um, screen. So we can see all of them. Same thing for this smoke and this smoke. Now I don't want them all to come on the same time. So I'm going to offset these about uh, every half a second or so. Something like that. So it's kind of giving a little burst every, every half a second. If that's too fast, again, we can change that. But I'm going to select all duplicate and slide it over and uh, duplicate one more time to slide it over so we're just trying to get some randomness filling up the entire time duplicate one more time slide it over. all right so we've got all of our layers just a random constant burst of puffiness and smoke and all that cool stuff so we're gonna go back to or let's rename this comp to uh, smoke let's go back to creepy energy bring out our smoke where's our smoke comp there it is oh this one bring out smoke and we are going to um, make a new solid make it black okay okay put it underneath the smoke and we're going to use the Luma mat. So now we get black smoke that is see-through everywhere else. So we got a black smoke. We can add some curves to the smoke and just kind of brighten it up so it'll uh, be a little bit fuller for the dark, dark smoke, something like that. Looks cool. Let's also scale this down a little bit, maybe 75%, so we can see those little strings coming out and let's duplicate this rotate it scale down even more and offset the time so we get more randomness more stuff oh forgot the black layer there we go more stuff let's add some more stuff alright new composition same settings let's make some homemade stuff so if you don't have shockwave you can kind of follow this Let's get some fractal noise. Okay. Let's do some dynamic twist. And let's boost up the contrast, maybe darken it so we can just see these little pieces. Um, let's make it a little bit larger, so scale this up. Okay. Looks good. What we're going to do is in the transform settings, we're going to use this offset turbulence. So keyframe that move forward and again just bring this down a couple thousand alright that looks good and you can also keyframe the evolution so let's keyframe that so we can get some uh, some wiggling happen randomness looks good alright let's put on polar coordinates 100% rectangle to polar and we're getting some weird edging here so what we're gonna do is turn off polar coordinates for a second search up mirror put it before polar coordinates and this needs to be right in the center so this is um, 1920 so you can do 1920 divided by 2 automatic center right there so polar coordinates back on everything is mirrored and looking good let's also make a new solid again because we want this to kind of fade off so ellipse tool right in the center like that push F to feather a couple hundred pixels and alpha math so this kind of fades off pretty nicely like that alright that looks good 
let's go back to creepy energy and bring out oh let's go back to here let's call this uh, fractal smoke alright so creepy energy let's find our fractal smoke bring that out and let's also use this black solid luma mat on this fractal smoke right here and uh, let's turn off the fractal smoke so we only see this alright so that looks good again we can use some curves if we want but so the moral of the story is whatever you can find laying around just kind of uh, stick it in just make sure you follow that advice if you're uh, talking about After Effects so that's pretty much it just keep you know randomizing stuff just put whatever once you're done though what you need to do is actually render this out because if you leave it like this it's gonna render extremely slow so if you pre-render it and then re-import that footage so if you take a look at this I have creepy thing dot mov it's exactly what I have before so just some creepy stuff pre-rendered so things you can do well let's see you can bring out your your creepy thing right make it a 3d layer let's uh, set this to multiply so we can get rid of the white part okay now when you have a 3d camera and you have a 2d layer and this is supposed to look 3d it's gonna be kind of hard to uh, sell that effect especially if you try to orbit around the uh, the layer right so what we can do is right click go to transform and auto orient and we can orient this towards the camera hit OK so it'll always be facing the camera and you can't look around it and see like the flat edginess and whatnot so pretty much just place it wherever you want you can duplicate this this is what I did duplicate it and offset it a little bit and uh, scale it down so you can kind of get a little bit of parallax a little bit of 3 d 3dness but um, yeah it's pretty hard to make an actual 3d uh, thing with 2d layers so that's kind of what I did you can make uh, another duplicate copy and let's untransform this un auto orient turn it off have a null object that is on the desk. I can copy this position and paste it to this position. Uh, which one was not oriented? This one. So I'll rename this to uh, shadow, paste the position, and we can slide this over so I know it's on the table. Rotate it down 90 degrees and um, scale it down and uh, fast blur it that looks good so there's our shadow super quick looks uh... Looks not too bad one thing i do want to mention uh... in the example there was a little bit of warping behind the black energy so it's like distorting the time dimensions of space and stuff so how do we do that well kinda tricky but we need to select our camera and select the main uh, piece main creepy thing so not the small one but the big one let's duplicate that and put it down at the bottom and duplicate the camera put it down at the bottom take both of these and pre-compose and we'll call this displacement map and go into this and we need to make a solid that is perfectly gray so 127 127 127 okay okay put it underneath make sure this is still a multiply and we need to blur out the uh, the energy so put fast blur on the layer I'll blur it out maybe 50 75 pixels something like that that looks okay just make sure you don't change any of the position or anything after you pre-compose it so if I go back to my main comp and I decide oh I want to move this to the left well I need to redo the displacement map so they need to match perfectly 
So turn the displacement map off. Let's do layer, new adjustment layer. Rename this to displace. Put it underneath all the creepy thing and put it right above your main clip, your footage, and do displacement map. Put it on that adjustment layer. And we're going to use displacement map layer. So if I solo the main clip and the adjustment layer and change these to luminance, we can kind of see we get some warping right where the black thing should be. So you could do something like this, but it might be a little, a little crazy. So let's just say it was 100. Actually, let's do negative 100 and maybe 25 for that. If we look closely, zoom in here, we can see the warping that this creepy energy gives off. So that's a neat little effect, pretty subtle. One thing you should keep in mind is uh, mirrors. So I put, in the example I showed earlier, I put a copy of the creepy thing back in the mirror and had a shadow and the other mirror and everything else. So that's pretty much it. I know it's a little long, but basically it just requires a lot of experimentation, um, fractal noises, explosions, whatever you want. Just stick it in and um, make it black. That's pretty much it. So there's your creepy, dark energy, whatever you want to call it. I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot of cool stuff. Be sure to like and favorite, comments, uh, subscribe, hit me up on Facebook and Twitter if you got any questions, all that good stuff. If you're making examples, go ahead and post it. And um, yeah, that is pretty much it. All right. See you next time.